Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. This time we're looking at the BR Blue Era Electro Diesels, mainly the Class 73s, with a few Class 74 images thrown in for good measure. But sadly none of the 71s. Couldn't find any worth reproducing for this video. I like the EDs as a brummy. Didn't see many in Birmingham. But I did like uh, going down the south to catch a few for haulage. I did actually miss a pair in Birmingham on the 21st of August 1982 when 73108 and 134 worked as a pair on 1M87, the 1105 Portsmouth Harbour Manchester as far as Birmingham and actually went back to the south coast on 1092 to Portsmouth. I was 15 at the time and the very previous day I was out cranking around Birmingham but on that particular day I was on my way to Spain with my parents for a holiday. First day of my holiday, missed the biggest working ever to come into Birmingham. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Years later, on the 19th of July 1998, whilst I was at cross country, we tried the same trick with 73105 and 117. Sadly, they failed at Fenny Compton on the northbound run, causing much chaos. Although in 1997, on the 28th of January, 73132 and 139 actually successfully worked from Red Hill to Birmingham New Street. So that's three different pairs that managed to make their way towards Birmingham. A typical mid-1980s haulage bash for those of us in the Midlands would be to head down south, spend a day on the 33s on the Pompey Bristol circuit, into London to cover the London Bridge loco haul commuters with Hither Green 33s if we were lucky, and then grab some food before heading to Waterloo to cover the 2252 Weymouth, which was knee deep. Take that as far as Woking for an electric unit back to central London and then cover the night paper trains from Victoria or possibly London Bridge, hoping to catch one of the rare 730 JAs, which involves sharing the limited four compartments on an otherwise newspaper train in a disgustingly filthy BSK with drunks and tramps and all sorts, and then heading in the dark into Deep East Kent, working out where to bail to get a up commuter slam door EMU back to London and then possibly covering the morning Kenny Bell, the Kensington Clapham shuttle, when that was 33s, and then spending the day perhaps between Victoria and Gatwick covering the 773 ones, getting some of those in the book. Many happy memories of a few times doing that. Anyway, hope you enjoy the uh, video. Please like, share, subscribe. Also look out for the Class 33 video, which is the one coming next if you're a Southern Region Loco fan. Enjoy. On Britain's southern region, where electrification met tradition, one locomotive class stood out as a true hybrid, the British Rail Class 73 Electro Diesel. Built to master both electric and diesel operation, these locomotives became the ultimate all-rounders of the third rail network. The story begins in the early 1960s. British Rail wanted a locomotive that could run on the southern region's 750 volt DC third rail, but also operate beyond it on unelectrified lines. The solution was ingenious, an electro-diesel locomotive capable of switching between electric power and a small onboard diesel engine. The first prototype, numbered E6001, was built by English Electric in 1962, soon followed by production models from BRCW in the mid-1960s. Under the third rail, the Class 73 could produce over 1,600 horsepower quiet, powerful and perfect for local passenger or freight work. Away from the electrified lines, a 600 horsepower diesel engine kept them moving, not fast or powerful, but enough to reach depots on or continue services where the third rails ran out and shunt around yards. The Class 73s became the backbone of the Southern Region Loco fleet. From the 14th of May 1984, they became common on the Gatwick Express, where they hauled passenger trains from London, Victoria to Gatwick Airport non-stop, with seven locos in use on each day, performing these duties on a 15-minute frequency using redundant Mark II air-conditioned loco haul pouches displaced by the high-speed train elsewhere on the BR network. The class also powered engineering trains and handled freight across the south. Over the years, they wore many liveries from the British Rail Blue to the bright stripes of Network South East, Intercity and later the bold colours of private operators like GBRF and Rail Operations Group. While the diesel engine wasn't strong enough for long mainline runs, it offered incredible flexibility, 
The Class 73 could run under electric power for most of its journey and then use the diesel to shunt, reach sidings or continue on short and electrified stretches. Crews loved their dependability and operators loved their versatility. Having said they weren't suitable for mainline runs, as I referenced earlier in my narrative, sometimes these pairs did try to escape the southern region, and as evidenced in my notes there, they sometimes got as far as Birmingham. Sometimes, not always. Decades later, these locomotives are still earning their keep. Modernised units like the 73.9 class conversion have been completely rebuilt with new MTU diesel engines, updated control systems and improved performance. These upgraded locos continue to serve Network Rail and private freight companies proof of the strength of the original design. The Class 73 wasn't the only electric diesel on the southern region. Its cousin, the Class 74, was an attempt to convert older Class 71 electric locomotives into similar dual-mode machines. Unfortunately, the 74s suffered from complex systems and poor reliability, leading to their early withdrawal by the late 1970s. In contrast, the 73s proved simple, effective and durable. The true success story of the electro-diesel experiment. From express passenger trains to engineering duties and heritage railways, the Class 73 has done it all. Over 60 years since their debut, these locomotives remain a testament to smart British engineering, adaptable, reliable and ready for anything. The Class 73, I think, can be described as a quiet icon of the Southern Rails. I hope you enjoy looking at these images. Please like, share, subscribe and come back next time. Thanks.
just the last couple of images in the intercity livery i know it's not br blue but i have to say i really think it suited the eds i've just put a couple in just because i like them and when i do my next ed video i'll put some more in when we get on to the 1990s anyway i hope you enjoyed the two intercity ones as i say i think they look really good and just to finish some 1984 gatwick express publicity which was all to do with the launch of the 73s on that service loving the 1800 seconds pr take on the 30 minute run from victoria to gatwick and the uh aeroplane taking off split from the br double arrow logo bear in mind this was uh 40 years ago sort of thing you'd expect nowadays so there were some bright young things in the pr department on the southern region clearly 40 years ago anyway thanks for watching as always i'd ask for you to please like share subscribe if you feel inclined to do so scan the buy me a coffee qr code on the screen and help support the channel in that way we really would appreciate it but more than ever the likes shares and subscriptions following the channel means the world so thank you very much see you in the next one